Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you the best search resolution in Fortnite Chapter 3 for maximum FPS and the least amount of input delay. And guys, I already prepared a whole entire file for you where it's already the best resolution applied, where are some micro tweaks which are already in the game user settings itself. And I also applied overall the best Fortnite settings for maximum FPS in Chapter 3. So therefore, you get all already in this game user settings file. And if you guys enjoyed this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would have made so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, the resolution we're going to take a look at in today's video is actually 1280 x 960 and as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of resolutions which are actually super close to native and we can see we got a decent FPS boost and I already a little bit here adjusted actually my Fortnite in-game settings. You can see guys in the first place that I applied of course the best colorblind mode, my 3D resolution I actually kept to 76% because in my opinion that's like the sweet spot, especially if you're like on a low-end PC, you know, you're really struggling with FPS and you're just trying to get out there man, you're just gonna hit like at least like 100 20, 145 FPS on some decent hardware or low-end hardware. Even though we are already playing on a quite low resolution, even with the 3D resolution set to 76%, it still looks really decent and I can actually see everything, which is somehow necessarily, you know, and especially if you're like on low-end PC, you guys just want maximum FPS. And I gotta say, this is probably like the best trade for visuals and FPS, if you guys know what I mean. And yeah, for the rest, I also applied here the best settings, which are, in my opinion, the best for low-end PCs. Because I've seen tons of benchmarks where especially people with like low-end hardware were experiencing maximum FPS on performance mode. If you are more on a like mid to high-end PC, DirectX 12 is actually better or DirectX 11. And yeah, actually, if you're running like a really low-end PC or a laptop or whatsoever, the performance mode is still your best option, guys. So therefore, I just applied everything for you. You pretty much don't need to worry about a single thing. And we're obviously also going to try it out just in a second, actually, in-game. And afterwards, I'm going to show you how to apply these game user settings so you don't have to change anything. Just straight up copy it and replace it. And with that said, see you guys just in a second in-game, I guess, for a quick benchmark. By the way, if anyone is wondering, we are actually right now playing with the GK61 uh, with Gator and Optical Yellow switches which is still an insanely fast keyboard I gotta say especially for like $50 or something like that you can get it really cheap guys and we're just gonna hot drop greasy come on bro you can see here beautiful 240 FPS here on my rig sometimes even 270 we can see the maximum really good not gonna lie okay bro I don't know what you were just trying to do but <laughs> it somehow somehow didn't work out for you I think okay Icky Bombard was good bro Oh damn. Underneath me, or what? Wait, homie. <laughs> oh, what's going on with these kids? <laughs> with these kids, I'm so confused. What? Oh my lord, bro. He still hit me there, no way. Jeez. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, that's a bad one, right? Okay, why am I taking this? Give me that, give me that. I think we can chill now for the rest. Bro, that's like a cringe, I'm not gonna lie. Bro, this is so cringe! What am I playing? So guys, and here I also right now real quick in creative because so many people always want to know how this res actually feels like, you know, when I always like showcase something here. And yeah, I think you can pretty good see that it's actually really playable here in creative. It's just super close to like native guys, so therefore if you like native, you're gonna you're gonna definitely like this res here as well. I mean, yeah, nothing too crazy. It just feels super close to actual native guys, so therefore I can definitely 100% recommend it. If you guys like native, I don't know, maybe you like a little bit more stretched one, then maybe check out my last video where I show like the overall best search resolution in chapter three. This one is like for FPS, max FPS, low end PCs, so therefore guys, yeah, maybe check out that one. But if you guys enjoy a resolution which is like normal, super close to native, this is definitely something you should check out. And now I'm just gonna show you in a quick tutorial how to actually apply this game user setting so you don't have to worry about anything yourself. And yeah guys, what I want you to do in the first place is click on the first link in the description guys where you can find my Discord. Just simply join there and somewhere there you should find a file which is called Game User Settings Max FPS. 
If you can find it, just simply ask in the general chat. There's 100% people who can help you out. And once you get it here on your desktop, guys, just simply open it up. And in there, we can see already our modified game user settings for max FPS. So we're just gonna drag them here actually onto our desktop. And once we got them here on our desktop, we're just gonna go to our Windows search bar and just simply tap in percenter, 10 percenter, and open up the first file which pops up. And in here, guys, we're just gonna click here onto local now. Press F on our keyboard until we find Fortnite game, save, config, Windows client, and in there we can see our old game user settings, which we don't need anymore. So we can straight up just delete them. If you guys still wanna keep them, and just in case you don't like the new ones, I mean, you could still theoretically just put them somewhere here on your PC, you know, so they're like safe. But what I would just simply recommend you is to straight up delete them and just drag in the new ones, which we got here actually from my Discord now. And once we're done with that, guys, we're also gonna double click actually real quick onto our new game user settings and just scroll down a little bit until we can find our resolution, just to make sure that everything is set up properly. As you can see, 1280 times 960 for a normal resolution size X and Y, and also the same for our last using confirmed resolution size X and Y. So everything is applied correctly. Just go here onto save one more time, you know, just to make sure that it's also applied. Right click onto our game user settings, go into properties, and now we're gonna set the check here and the attribute read only. Quick information guys, if you wanna change everything in your Fortnite, you need to first of all actually quit the game, you know, come back here into this file and take out the check again. Because if you have this check in there, you can't modify your Fortnite settings at any point. So therefore, yeah, we're just gonna put it right now here actually onto read only because yeah, just in case if we, you know, mess up something in our settings, um, everything stays. And yeah, with that said, we already applied it here and now we have the best game user settings for max FPS and the best rich resolution already applied in it. So therefore we can just simply close it and yeah, launch Fortnite and enjoy it with more FPS. And just in case guys, if you should have black bars or the stretch resolution isn't applied over the whole entire screen, there's actually also a fix to that. All you guys have to do is open up your NVIDIA control panel settings or your AMD settings or whatever, just simply the ones from your GPU, you know. And then we're gonna go here onto change resolution guys. And what you need to do is click here on Nvidia at least onto customize, you know, and create a custom resolution. And then you're gonna type in exactly the resolution which we are using right now here, which is 1280 times 960. So just gonna put it in there. Use our maximum refresh rate for me, it's right near 240 FPS. And then you're gonna click onto test. And once you tested that, Nvidia is also gonna create for you here in this list actually a resolution. For me, I didn't have to do this right now yet, but I know for some people it is required. And yeah, then you actually get it here in this list and you can select it here under your custom resolutions. You can see I applied here 1632 times 918 ones, you know, and some other resolutions. You can just simply like try them out here, click onto it, apply, and then your whole entire desktop is gonna get changed to that resolution, which is gonna be important because then you won't have any problems anymore with black bars or that the resolution isn't like filling out your whole entire desktop, you know, that it's maybe like only showcasing here a small part of your screen and not properly here stretched over the whole entire desktop. And yeah, that's just pretty much how you fix that guys. And yeah, I hope I helped you. And with that said guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out, peace. That shit too light Big four, ho, come get inside Dami, Gucci, Lee, come take a dive